Hey guys, this is the Too Long Didn't Watch segment. This is the first time I've done this, TLDW. Um, if you don't want to watch the full 12 minutes or however long this video is, uh, this is what I talk about. Zero to burrito. It's actually originally zero to Pareto, as in Belfredo Pareto, the 80-20 guy, 80-20 law. What I want to do is take, take you from a novice all the way to like an intermediate, early advanced um, fitness person, a trainee. And I want to do that by providing you with about 20% of the stuff that works that'll give you 80% of the results. And that's the gist of this entire video series, this whole playlist that I'm, I'm going to be creating over the next few months. So tune in. Uh, if you really want to find out more about it, watch the rest of this video. Please subscribe to this channel. Please have a great day. Hey guys, let's talk about Zero to Burrito. What's that all about? Well, it's going to be a new playlist slash video series on my channel and a website. And really the main idea here is to take somebody either from a total novice or maybe somebody who's been spinning their wheels in the gym for like 10 years, but just doing basically a bunch of curls, crunches, bench press, and treadmill, and not really getting anywhere. Not that there's anything wrong with those exercises, but it kind of just been going, showing up, and really not making progress. In other words, they don't really know what they're doing. And if that, if that is you, or you fall somewhere in between there, I want to take what I know. I'm, uh, I've been a, a personal trainer for about five years now. I've uh, been working out consistently for, for close to a decade, so I'm not the utmost expert on, in this subject. However, I do have a lot of knowledge, and I'll talk about why, even though I'm not a total master of fitness and wellness or whatever you want to call it, I, I am, I believe, qualified to help you get to the point where you reach that intermediate or early advanced level, basically on your own. I want to point, point you in the, in the right direction. So, why am I calling it Zero to Burrito? Well, because <laughs> it was originally called Zero to Pareto, P-A-R-E-T-O. And then I wanted to call it Pareto to make it rhyme. And, and every time I've, I've learned about Pareto, Vilfredo Pareto, the, the 80-20 guy, 80-20 principle, I've always wanted to call him Burrito. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm making this this series. I might as well just call it what I want. I want to say burrito so bad, so I'm just going to freaking call it Zero to Burrito. So that's that's why. No, that's, that's it. And I just want to say burrito. Um, okay, so let's talk about that. 80-20. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, uh, it's basically Vilfredo Pareto <laughs> was, his name is actually is pretty fun to say on its own. Uh, was a, an, an Italian engineer who kind of made, recognized, the, the, he's credited for recognizing the pattern, making it mainstream that, I don't know the best way to say this, but 80% of your results come from 20% of the variables you're dealing with. So in the case of, say, uh, a, a business, typically about 20% of their loyal customers make up 80% of the total revenues. Or 80% of the way you use a software product comes from 20% of its features. Or 80% of the world's wealth comes from 20% of the population. That sort of thing. Even though, you know, obviously there's some, some wiggle room in those numbers, but you get the, you get the point. Um, the reason I want to apply it to fitness is number one, I'm not the first one to do it. I've, I've, ever since I've gotten into to, really studying the subject, people have harkened back to Pareto's Law and all of this. In fact, I'm reading um, uh, Greg Knuckles' uh, Art, of, Art of Lifting and Science of Lifting, and he, like in the first sentence, he was talking about Pareto's Law. So it's good enough for Greg Knuckles, it's certainly good enough for Three Storm Fitness. Um, the reason is, and this it ties in in a lot of different places. For one, I'd say probably the most obvious is that even if, you, even if you're not exercising right now, if you are on social media or you're on the internet or, or magazines, whatever, you've probably seen 
a million different workouts to do at home and, and, and things to do next time you go in the gym and diets that you need to try and supplements you need to do and sleep hacks and all that crap. And a lot of it's really good stuff. But here's the problem. Number one, well, number one, some of it's not good. Some of it's just made by idiots who look good. <laughs> I want to, just for the sake of, of hope and humanity, assume that most of it, however, falls into the latter. And, it's just, and that's just that it's confusing. The second point is just very confusing. You have a million right answers out there, but you don't know exactly how to attack it. So I want to kind of dwindle, I want to whittle it away to 20%, give or take, that's going to give you, take you 80% up to speed. That's going to give you huge results that make you smile, help you meet your goals, wherever the heck they are. Just some, just a path that you could take, learn the ins and outs of, you know, uh, what's, the, what's the best diet for me? What's the, you know, what should I do in the gym? What should my goals be? Uh, what do I do if my shoulders hurt, but I'm supposed to bench press today? What do I do if I can't get deep in my squat? How much sleep should I get? How much protein should I eat? All that crap, throw it in together, and I just want to get a huge video series for anybody. I'm basically, I'll come down to this. I want to help people who want to help themselves, who really just want a nudge in the right direction. They want to make sure they're not wasting their efforts and all the confusion that's around. I'm not saying you shouldn't pay any attention to other stuff, but what I am saying is once you get to that point, where you've started to really get really comfortable in the gym, get really comfortable with, with your results and your body and what your body likes, then you can look at those other things. You can look at that, you know, six-minute workout to do from home and make and decide if it's something that's going to, it's going to, you, you'll, you'll, you'll know where to plug it in. You'll, you'll, know, you'll, know, you'll, you'll know whether or not it's worth anything to you. Um, so you, you'll, you'll be able to make your own decisions, and that's super valuable. Okay, um, another way that the Pareto's Law, Pareto Principle of 80-20, burrito, that's what I'm calling it, burrito applies, is in learning. Uh, learning and just becoming more proficient in whatever it is you're doing. And this is sort of an inverse relationship here, where 20% of your time spent can give you about 80% of effect. So let me give you a couple of examples. Uh, one is probably one that most people can relate to. You go into a job, I don't care what it is, just, just some job that's more or less the same once you get into the groove. Same day in, day out. Some people work these kind of jobs from the time they get out of high school all the way till they retire. Let's say you get this new job, we're working in a, uh, I don't know, we're working retail, working in a grocery store. You work in a grocery store and um, you have no interest in, in getting into upper management. You're just cool, working the same job for 30-some years, whatever. One of those situations. You're not, you're not moving vertically or, or, or horizontally. You're just working the same job that you've always worked. Happens all the time. That's your thing. Good for you. Let's say you, when you first start, you first start a new job, you don't know what you're doing. There's, there's all this crap going on all around you. You're wondering, what am I supposed to do first? You're just hopefully taking some notes or at least listening closely to the people that are telling you. And hope, hopefully they're telling you the right stuff. Hopefully they're being good examples of what you are supposed to be eventually doing. You know, after a few weeks, you kind of start to get in the groove of things, but you're still plenty confused. You're working hard. You're just hoping that you're, making, you're working hard in the right direction. Fast forward to 10 years later. All right, 10 years working in a grocery store. You pretty much know everything there is to possibly know about that grocery store. All the institutional knowledge, you know, just to who to talk to for what. Most people are probably talking to you. You know where everything is. You know how every single operation works. You probably know all the closing and opening procedures. Everything there is to know about the job. You are a master of that job. 10 years, okay? Now let's take 20% of that. Two years. After two years of working in that grocery store, you don't know as much as that tenure dude do, does, but you know enough to do just about anything that you need to do. There's probably new challenges every now and then you haven't seen before. New breeds of angry customers and whatnot. And while you may might not have dealt with them specifically, you know enough about the job to make the right decisions to get it done. 
Okay, so you know how to overcome these new challenges as they, as, they, as they arise. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I want to get you through this video series, where you don't know everything there is to know. I don't know everything there is to know. I'd be hard-pressed to name anybody who does. But I want to get you to the point where you're comfortable with everything. You have the results that, that you've originally set out for. And if, if, you, if you get new goals that come about, or you, get, you stagger in your results, you'll know how to take the proper paths to start overcoming those as well. Second example, if you're a video game player, a gamer, if you will, I am, I'm a huge dork. I don't play, I don't play 20% as much as I'd like to, but let's say you're playing a big game like Skyrim or Grand Theft Auto, a game that you could easily spend 100 hours on in your, in your character, okay? When you start the game, everything's killing you. You're trying to figure it out. You know, you don't know what, what's up and what's down. You don't know your hotkeys and all this crap. You still have to, like, look at the controller while you're playing it. Okay, fast forward 100 hours. Nothing in the game can kill you. You're just murdering everything for fun. You're doing quest lines that, that you don't need to do, but you're just you're bored. You're finding new ways to just dominate the game. You're extremely overpowered. That's a master. That's an expert. Go back a little bit, 20 hours into the game. 20 hours into a game like Skyrim, a huge, robust game. You, you, your character is not totally OP, if you will, but, and stuff still kills you, you still have to kind of find challenges, but you got a very strong grasp of the game. You know exactly what you're doing. You have a pretty dominant character. You can get through the game, you can do just about anything you want or work toward it. You know exactly where you're going, and if you decide to go a different direction, you know how to get there. I think I've beaten that horse to death, So, but that's, that's, what, that's what we're getting at here. That's what I want to do with this zero to burrito thing, is create, is answer all those questions to take you from, from a beginner, potentially somebody who doesn't know what they're doing in the gym, or maybe somebody who does, but they kind of just want to make sure they're on the right track. Hopefully, you trust me to provide that information for you. Um, most of my information, just know, comes from experts. I, I rob and steal everything I get, um, and I want to share it with you. Usually it's free information, so I don't feel bad about it. But um, so just know that if you don't trust me, trust. I'll, I'm going to start being more diligent about putting descriptions, uh, putting information in the description fields of YouTube videos. Um, so hopefully it helps you out. Uh, stick to this series. I'll, like I said, I'll put it in the playlist so you can just watch it from start to finish if you have a few hundred hours. Because I'm sure that's how long it'll be by the time it's all done. But uh, like I said, if you're a, if you're a self-starter type and you just want to make sure you're going in the right direction when it comes to fitness, when it comes to looking better, feeling better, performing better, I want to help you out. That's what we're doing. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Have a beautiful day.